Hello YouTube! Welcome to another beer review with the Master of Puppets, or me Peter! Okay, you might notice that it's a bit of different lighting, but it, it's because it's already dark outside. Um, here in Denmark or Scandinavia, you it gets dark quickly, uh, fairly quick. It's almost dark now. Uh, it's And it's all, only half past four. So uh, the sun goes down pretty fast here in Denmark in the winter. But that's not going to stop me from making a review. So I've got a lamp up to try to simulate sort of a daylight type of thing. But works fine, actually. Today's beer is the last beer of the calendar. Yay! The 24th beer. And this beer is very, very special. And I'm looking very much forward to try it. It is, again, from Belgium. And it's from Destruise Brothers. It is Stuise Ch ah, This is just very difficult to pronounce this name, but Destruise Chieses Reserva, I think. And it's a very, very, very extremely limited uh, beer. And I'm gonna get into that later. First, I have some info about these, uh, this uh, brewery and the beer. Uh, Destruise means the ostriches. You probably know that. And uh, this uh, leads to, uh, or this is a hint that the brewers actually own an ostrich farm in uh, Belgium. The brewery started in 2002 as a phantom brewery. They don't have their own equipment. Uh, it didn't have their. Uh, they didn't have their own equipment, and they rented uh, themselves uh, or rented other breweries to brew beer there. Uh, the three brothers are Urban, Carlo, and Phil. <laughs> Pretty funny name, Urban, Carlo, and Phil. But yeah, and they just make all the beers. A bit like, I don't know if McKellar still is it really, but McKellar was or is a Phantom Brewery as well. But uh, pretty good. It's Mikkel, but uh, this is not McKellar. Okay, some info on the beer. Chis's Reserva is a light, golden, eccentric beer with a hazy uh, look like the hazy label uh, a hint to the the high Santa Claus on the label or high leprechaun um, it has been aged for six months on a casks oak cask and is a unique Christmas brew with vineyard sherry and wood wood uh, ish notes uh, uh, complemented by the Christmas basil Christmas spices such as cinnamon just one sec and I couldn't really find out it, I think it's called carnation this spice I'm not sure carnation and uh, ginger so uh, I've got some uh, their website is very very bad I uh, don't really have any info about their beers it's only in Belgium and quite messy but uh, got some info here from Ray Beer on the beer and the Destruise brothers decided to age four barrels of 225 liters of cheeses on oak during six months. As this release is extremely limited, it can only be bought at the Struise shop at the farm in Belgium. No orders are taken in consideration, only available for people visiting the farm. So the place I bought this calendar must have, he, that guy must have went to the farm in Belgium. Or maybe he was lucky to get some, I don't know. But uh, very, very limited release. And it says here, this is number 11, Xmas Brew. I am not sure as if that means it's the 11th batch. I'm pretty sure it doesn't. But uh, it probably means, I'm not sure if it then means this is the 11th brew. That would be quite cool, but I don't know. And yeah, age for six months on oak uh, casks. And I got a, quite funny, it's brewed and bottled at the Vespertaren Brewery, who brews Vespertaren 12 and 8. Amazing beer, um, but uh, this should be very, very good. Good. Uh, got some info on the ingredients here on the side of the bottle. Ingredients, barley, ma barley malt, hops, cane sugar, yeast and spices. And that's, uh, that's a pretty cool logo with ostriches. But let's go get to the beer. Um, very excited about it. Uh, gonna use again my new Trappist uh, glass. I think it's so cool. So, from Westmale. Very excited about this beer since it's that limited. And that label. Come on, look at it. 
That is so cool. A high Santa or a high lip leprechaun. That is so cool, man. But uh, let's crack it open. Don't know what year it's from or anything. Uh, by the way, I forgot that the style is an Abbey, Abbey Triple. And it's in Ostvateran. Or, yeah, Ostvateran in Belgium, the, the farm is. And the western part of Vateran is where they brewed it at the Vestvateran uh, brewery. Or Abbey. And yeah, it's an Abbey Triple. I reviewed one triple before that was Enghi and Nerd, and that is very good, quite good, the one I had an accident with. And it wasn't because it was called Silly, that was just me trying to make a joke, it's the Silly that's called Silly. But let's open the beer. And it rises up. Almost exploded out of the bottle, but I was quite fast. Well, mm, I can smell the beer, beer from over here, man. That smells really, really good. Looks a lot color wise like the the dollar actually. Got some of the mmm. Okay, I I'm quite excited about this beer. Uh let's get the aroma. Wow that's nice. Okay, first off I'm gonna check out the the color and it's just that orangey color actually, maybe amber, just as the Okay, the, but it looks very good. Running a little bit out of time here, so it gotta be fast. Um Aroma, very nice, um, a, a, quite acidic actually, um, by the way not really much of a head, but uh, I think it will linger pretty much for the duration of the review, um, smells very nice, uh, very sweet, um, not really much of alcohol, again yeast, but not as yeasty as the dollar, um, smells really, really, really good, um, that alcohol, mm, not too much of a presence actually um mm, those spices are present as well but mm, not really the biggest spice but it smells quite good uh well got beer in my nose now because i got my nose too far in the beer but it smells overall quite good mm. so let's just give it a taste Wow! Wow! Woohoo! <laughs> that is some beer. Um, very, very, very full body. A bit heavy carbonation actually. Uh, very, very rich, creamy. Um, a bit of an alcoholic taste. But actually, as well, um, mm, it's very complex. Um, Bit of a caramel taste, uh, uh, I'll say citrus fruits actually, and those spices are very very present. Uh, but that's that tastes really good. Um, also syrup maybe, um, like caramel syrupy you put on pancakes. Uh, mm, wow, that is amazing. Um, Definitely a warming beer, really heavy. By the way, it's 10% alcohol by volume, forgot that. Uh, very, very full, rich, on. Um. Mm. Wow, this is probably one of the best triples I've had. Um, beats the uh, Enghien by a long shot. This is 10 times better. Um, mm. Okay, this is definitely a beer you gotta check out. It is very, very complex and got a very, very unique taste. It's quite difficult to descri describe, actually. But a lot of syrupy notes as well. Um, a bit fruity, yeasty. A lot of a, a malt presence as well. But check it out yourself, this beer. Uh, this is probably the best triple I've ever had. Uh, wow, that is some triple. Uh, I understand why. Uh, it's so extremely limited and rare because they can probably sell it for quite a good amount of money since it's this good. But wow, mm. <laughs> funny enough, this is going to be another 100 actually. <laughs> Two last beers in the calendar, but this is probably definitely the best triple I've ever had so far. Uh, and I just love that yeast flowing around in the glass. Mm. Um, Definitely something to check out if you can get it all at all since it, it's this rare. So um, 100 
for the Cheez's Reserva. Great, great, great beer. But you check it out if you can find it. And please subscribe to my reviews or my account or whatever you say. And check out my other video reviews of beer. And I'm going to say cheers. I hope you guys can find this beer. It is great.